Big data is everywhere. In global industries like healthcare and pharmaceuticals, data science is providing the answers to some of the toughest biological problems. Bioinformatics is a type of data science at the heart of this evolution. Never heard of it? You're not alone. In fact, bioinformaticians are in short supply. So I think, I think it's very clear that we're in this digital revolution and we have a massive skill shortage. And let's face it, the digital revolution isn't going away. It's only going to get more, so we're going to need more and more people. ARU is offering a degree apprenticeship in data science specifically for the bioinformatics profession. Bioinformatics, you can really simply say it's digital biology. It's doing biology on a computer, you know, whereas instead of you might go in a lab and get some test tubes and, you know, some Bunsen burners and that kind of stuff, bioinformaticians generally will work on a computer. So really we can't access biology anymore without technology and bioinformatics is the discipline that is evolving and emerging to address that need and that requirement. It's at the fundament, if you like, of really understanding biology in the next 10, 15, 20 years. Our apprenticeship is designed in collaboration with world-leading scientific organisations, all of whom need bioinformaticians. We use bioinformaticians in all of our research. In the cancer programme, we may be looking just for one spelling mistake in the DNA of those patients that can then be tracked back to the cause of that cancer. Where our vision is taking us is to think beyond rare undiagnosed disease and think where else does bioinformatics take us in improving healthcare. So this is all now lining up to making the UK the premier place in the world to do precision medicine. So this is pretty groundbreaking stuff. Why haven't many people heard about bioinformatics and the positive impact data science can have on the world? It certainly hasn't been around for that long. When I was doing my degree, there was anything such as bioinformatics. It's evolving and there are many, many more people taking an interest in bioinformatics where you can really bring in the expertise from biology and data analysis together and actually making sense of big data sets. Bioinformatics is a relatively new field and there is a critical skills shortage. Luckily, there are governing bodies to help people get qualified for the roles. So the government are investing in training the next generation of bioinformaticians so that the UK will benefit from better health, but we'll also be able to build better businesses on the back of these skills as well. It's a niche skill set in a new and complex field that this degree apprenticeship won't limit the scope of your career. Within bioinformatics, there's multiple different themes. You can be a bioinformatician caring about uh, human health, but you can equally be looking at plant science, or you can be like a friend of mine and do uh, marine bioinformatics. Skills in bioinformatics are relevant to many sectors. Also now, working within some of the big data companies where wearable technologies and home genetic testing are becoming more routine. And so all of these sectors are crying out for new skilled bioinformaticians. Being able to do an apprenticeship in such a broad, exciting and potentially world-changing subject can propel you straight to the top. So I uh, left school at 15, then I wanted to apply for an apprenticeship. I think fundamentally being an apprentice and having that maker mindset equipped me to be an entrepreneur more than anything else. That's why I'd recommend that path uh, to any young person thinking about where to go next with their career. The degree apprenticeship is going to help me stand out because not only do I have a degree level, I will also have those years experience in a business applying that learning which which a lot of other courses won't allow you to have on your CVs. So I would absolutely say go for it because you can't lose. It's a fantastic opportunity to do a degree well. Working and the benefits of education and working at the same time are very powerful. And Anglo Ruskin is the place to do it, ensuring what you learn is super relevant to the experts you'll be working alongside. Anglo Ruskin University has consulted with a number of employers big names in the business during the time that the course was actually taking shape and that's given us the, the vital kind of intelligence. I'm always talking to people in bioinformatics and they've heard of our ARU and they've been involved in the process so, so I think what ARU have done is really reached out and got the, the best of the bioinformatics community to really input into this space and I think that's been a key thing. So what does a day in the life as a bioinformatician in training look like? Day to day, there will be no day that's the same. You'll be in seminars, in lab meetings, you'll be brainstorming, chalkboard talks. I was worried when I first started my apprenticeship degree that I would struggle to balance all of the work life 
study life and personal life, but actually it has been very reasonable doing 20% of my work time dedicated to the course. It's not just sitting in a dark room in a cave or tapping on a computer. There's actually quite a lot of personal interaction and we eat a lot of cake as well. Sound like something you could get into? Here's what you need. You don't necessarily need to have great mathematical skills in order to be a great coder. Often bioinformatics is viewed as gluing together various pieces of code. For people who are skilled in coding and coming through into their A level and bringing on those skills, so they can be really valuable. My degree apprenticeship has given me access to education that I wouldn't have otherwise been able to get hold of. My parents were quite shocked when I took on a a degree apprenticeship. My oldest brother was very academic, but I never seemed to be the academic type. But this apprenticeship degree has given me the opportunity to access that academic side whilst also being out in the world of work. We're looking for curiosity and we're looking for an interest in computers, but also an interest in how you could apply that knowledge to answer some of the biggest questions that we have left to answer. And there's never been a more exciting time to forge a career in data science. Science always needs young, new, bright minds applied to these big problems that can only be tackled when we come together. I really love studying a degree of apprenticeship because I'm able to study something that I'm really engaged in whilst also practicing it and getting paid to do it. So it's just, you know, brilliant. The advice I'd say to anyone who's looking to apply for a degree of apprenticeship is be optimistic, think openly, because actually, although you may think you can't handle it, you'd be surprised what's possible.